guys so today I'm going to be doing a video on red lipsticks and I just went to Boots today, Boots as in the drugstore in the UK and I picked up five top, my top red lipsticks based on the formula, you know the price and the colours so I'm, I've picked ones that are quite comparable to you know the MAC, the NARS, um, Chanel, all those type of high-end brands um, and I've just basically just picked the best colours that I feel are quite universally flattering. So the first colour that I went for, I mean I've been hearing a lot about these Kate Moss um, by Rimmel Lipsticks or Rimmel by Kate Moss Lipsticks. And they have so many good colours and when I, when I went to the store, um, when I went to Boots, the all the colours were pretty much sold out. And this one was even sold out as well but I just... Um, there was like literally one left that was used and I just thought well I need to buy it because the colour's amazing. So I just got this and cleaned it when I got home. This is number number zero one. And I would say this is a cool toned sort of blue colour. It's a very Hollywood colour. Um, it's a classic Hollywood colour lipstick. It suits pale skin tones like your NC20s, your NC15s. It suits yellow tones. It suits warm tones. I think it's it's a universally flattering colour. I don't think you can really go wrong with it. And it's also super affordable. Um, I also want to mention that it looks kind of more of a wine colour in the bullet but when you put it on it has more of an orange undertone so it's also really helpful to try things on because they can look a lot different in the packaging. I'd also definitely recommend wearing lip liner with this because the application isn't so good. I first applied it with the 231 brush which is the brush from MAC and it it just didn't have much colour payoff so I had to apply it from the bullet and it definitely changed the colour and then I went over with um, Brick Lip Pencil by MAC which gave it that more precise um, look to it as well. So the next colour is called Fire and Ice and I've actually got it on right now and it's more of a pinky toned red um, more than a classic Hollywood red and this colour um, Fire and Ice has been around since I believe around 1952 so it's a really old classic shade and obviously you know Revlon's quite an old uh, brand anyway and their lipsticks are fantastic because they do a lot of um, matte lipsticks which can be quite hard to find um, in the drugstore um shops you know and um, because they can be more expensive to produce so i really like revlon as a brand that's why i decided to check them out and when i was doing my research online as well um this came up as one of the most classic red shades um i would say it's kind of like a tomato red shade it would really really suit people a little bit more than me if you've got a warm toned skin you know if you're mixed race or um you're asian or you know, you've got dark skin than me, or you're more tanned, it would suit you a little bit more. It's only really suiting me at the moment because I've got a little bit of bronzer on, but the more paler people, I wouldn't really go for this, to be honest. But it's still a really nice um, colour that I probably would wear, ne nevertheless. So, yeah. And the finish of this lipstick, as well, is quite moisturising. It has, like, a bit of a sheen to it, um, so it's not totally matte, which I'm kind of disappointed about because I think it would be great if it was matte. But, yeah, overall, I absolutely love this colour. So the next colour is by Maybelline and this is the Colour Sensational Pleasure Me Red and I saw this colour and I thought well I've got a lot of you know lighter reds that can pass for pink but this one's definitely a red red um, but it does have some pink undertones and this would look great on blondes, look amazing on blondes, it's super flattering especially on my skin tone I think think because I'm quite pale but still have a bit of an olive undertone it's really really nice and the formula is nice um, the packaging is not the most luxurious but you know it's what you pay for it really but yeah definitely try this if you're a blonde so this next lipstick is by L'Oreal and this is the colour rich serum lipstick in S502 True Red and this is the kind of lipstick that you buy if you're not too sure whether you prefer a warm tone lipstick or a blue tone lipstick, it's neither both, it's kind of in the middle, that's why it's called a True Red. Um, kind of a gimmicky idea here, If before you use a lipstick it has kind of like a little bit in the middle, I'm not sure if you can see, that's meant to be like um, collagen boosting moisturisation for your lips and it's meant to give you added hydration and um, that doesn't really bother me that's something that I don't really need but the idea is um, quite interesting either way and um, the packaging is nice as well I like the red um, the red thing around the bottom and it's quite nice yeah really love this colour um, just a beautiful classic red quite similar to um, quite similar to pleasure me red in a way um, but a little bit lighter creamy finish um, 
long lasting and super pigmented so this is kind of just a not here or nor there lipstick um anyone pretty much suits this color um but it's not one of those colors that really go wow it's kind of more a subtle, subtle color it's more of the red color that you'd wear with jeans and like you know um like flat pumps that sort of casual red color so if you're looking for something to wear a red color in the day but you're kind of a bit scared of red lips this is a good colour because it's not too, you know, out there, but it still has the red in it. So yeah, definitely check this colour out and I love the formula as well. So the next red is probably the cheapest red out of all of them and um, the cheapest lipstick. And this is by Barry M. If you haven't heard of Barry M, it's a brand in the UK that's sold at Superdrug and Boots. And this colour is called Pillar Box Red and it's a really almost summery colour red. Um, something that you could get away with in the summer more than the winter. It has that cherry tomato look about it and it's also very, very orange based. It kind of reminds me of Red Square a tiny bit, um, but it's a little bit more red toned than Red Square. But if you like the orangey colour, I would recommend Red Square as well, which is also probably not in this video because it's kind of a high end thing. But it does remind me of Red Square. The packaging is very NARS like as well. It has that sort of black casing. In fact, it looks super similar to NARS. Um, this was only like £4.50 or something crazy like that. But I absolutely love it. Um, Barry M has some really good lipsticks. They can tend to dry your lips out a bit because the formula is not that great. But the colours are extremely fashionable and very in right now. So if you want to look for sort of a bold colour that you don't have a huge budget, I would recommend Barry M. And this colour is really beautiful if you like orange, orange reds. So yeah, that pretty much brings me to the end of my video. I hope this helped you in any way. Um, like I said, I kind of bought all these products on my own and went out and researched what colours I think you guys would like or, you know, colours that flatter most skin types and are kind of fit in with what you like. Some people like pinky reds, some people like true, you know, oxblood reds and some people like orangey red reds. So yeah, let me know what you think of this video and if you've got any red colours to rec recommend me drugstore wise then let me know. See you soon. Bye.